Smoking Monkey Genetics. Good afternoon, my plant loving friends. Well, I've had a few requests to uh, make a video on how I made my uh, pollen collector pill bottles. You know, how I have the screen attached to the lid and all. So I'm going to go ahead and make one and do a video of it. I need another one anyway. I'm running low. I keep giving them away. <laughs> but, uh, so here's just a quick video. And y'all be safe. You don't need too much, but you will need a screen. For the pollen to fall through it doesn't have to be this really fine silk screen just something small with holes in it that are small enough that it'll trap the flower petals and uh, let the pollen fall through so i got my screen this is a silk screen so it's like a plastic nylon screen and i like two pill bottles but really, the main thing you need right now is the lid. And what all I got to do is cut this center hole out of the lid here. It would be best if you had a, a hole saw or a drill that would fit just inside that lid. I'm not sure if I do, but I'm just going to show you how I've been doing it. Which is probably kind of stupid. I'll be using this knife and working around the edge of the lid just poking it through there so uh, if you got a big enough drill bit or a hole saw uh, that would be much safer and if you want two pill bottles you need two the same size so they'll both fit this lid and I'll show you why here in a minute then you need some super glue and you'll need some scissors to trim off a piece of screen. So first I'm going to start off by cutting the hole out in this lid. You go about, oh I don't know, about an eighth inch from the edge of the lip. Not even quite an eighth inch. A couple millimeters for the thickness of the plastic. Oh. It cuts pretty easy. Especially with a brand new razor, this is a brand new razor blade. Probably should have left the old one in there. Damn it. I keep cutting too far, but that's okay. It'll be all right. You see, now we got that little shelf in there. We gotta clean that out. So, like I said, be very careful. Don't, uh, don't cut yourself. Do the best you can to get rid of any ring that's inside here. So... So your flower is laying right on the screen. Now, all we got to do is put the screen over the pill bottle. Put the lid down on there. And screw it down inside the pill bottle.
You know, you can see the screens in there. It's nice and flat and tight. So this is where we need our super glue. We got these little single use vials here. And we'll just put it all around the rim in this pill bottle. Just put a little bead all the way around. Try not to use too much because when it gets hard, all around the ring of that screen, there's no holes there now because it's full of glue. That'll dry up here pretty soon. And then we'll just take our knife blade and go around the lid and cut off the excess. I'm going to do that now. That's where it's useful to have a really sharp razor blade. collector as soon as that glue is good and dry we'll be good to go now the reason I like two pill bottles is because you put your flowers in here and pollen if you don't want it possibly blowing around getting out in the room you can uh, put some desiccant packs in here They'll usually hold themselves in if they're big enough, wide enough. I put one gram desiccant packs in there, as many as I can fit in there. And that'll help dry out the flowers and uh, keep everything dry. When I'm done and have enough pollen collected or have been collecting it for a few days, I don't want it to absorb moisture. So I'll go ahead and unscrew this. Put desiccant in here and then cap it off with a good cap and put it up for storage. So here's one of my old ones. You see that's what I mean about the, the desiccant packs. These are one gram desiccant packs and they're big enough to stay in there without falling out. And I don't think super glue sticks to this plastic very good. So I haven't actually tried to remove this. But I made these two years ago. And uh, so far so good. They're holding up. I don't try to break them or anything. I just unscrew them. From one bottle to another, and that's about it. I'm going to let this one dry probably overnight before I take the lid off, just to be extra sure. But that's it, guys. It's pretty simple. Simple and effective miniature pollen collection chambers. And thanks for watching, and y'all have a good one.